Brenda Silva, you have tickets that go back to uh, 12 years. We're not going to find these tickets. So there's three tickets that went back 12 years ago. They were all overtime, <coughs> overtime parking. I'm going to dismiss those tickets. We won't be able to prosecute. We won't be able to prosecute them or get the enforcement officer for those. However, that's only the beginning. You have a red light violation two years ago, and that was on Roger Williams Avenue and Elmwood Avenue. That's when you were driving a Jeep. You have the same vehicle now, a Jeep. Right? I have a blue Jeep, but my daughter had a Jeep back in that day, and I own, I, well, it was registered. Well, was, was the car registered to you? It, correct, it was. Well, you're responsible. Is yes, the license right. plate of that uh, Jeep AB? Yes. Yeah, my daughter. You have an expired meter. Correct. Right? I, <laughs> <laughs> correct. <laughs> you came for an expired meter. Next thing you know, you get all these tickets going back 10 yeah, years ago. Yeah, she's telling me, I'm like, oh, Now the no. red light. Then when she said in different plate numbers, I'm like, my daughter. How old is your daughter? She's just turned 35. Oh, well, she's going to give you the money when you get home. She had lived with me with her two kids. She went through a bad divorce and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I helped her out by yeah. doing what I did until yeah. she got on her feet. And now her vehicles are in her name. Oh. <laughs> They're not in my name anymore. Yeah. They haven't been in... A few years now, actually, you, you, a couple of years. You finally cut the cord, huh? What am I going to do? I know. You, you, but you, my meter, Your Honor. Well, wait a minute. Let me, let me dispose of your daughter's case first. Okay, let's okay. dispose of that. All right. Uh, she has a parking ticket, too, on that Jeep. I'm going to dismiss the parking ticket. The parking ticket was a, a $25 ticket. It tripled to 75 So it's, you can tell you saved the $75, but you're going to... But she has to pay $85 for going through the red light. Okay. All right. And now you. <laughs> you have an expired meter violation on Friendship Street. Correct. On February 1st. Correct? February 1st. That's right. Okay. I used my debit card. Put it through twice. Was charged twice. I expect to carry So I don't know what happened. Why? So technically, I should have <clears> never <throat> even been tagged because I was there at the meter at like 9 and change in the morning for court for my son. I knew it was going to be a while in court, so I did it twice for four hours. Inspector, was charged twice. He's in charge of credit cards. Inspector Carrigan. I need that, Your Honor, to make sure it's really working properly. What's no, the, the matter? credit card. My credit card? <laughs> well, I should hope so, because it's there, 250 I need it to make sure, though. Here, you want my credit card? But <laughs> the thing is, you're going to need my signature and my pen. That I can't give you. Where's your credit card? I'm sorry? Where is your credit card? In my pocket. Well, give, let him see it. No. <laughs> I can go like this <laughs> and let you see it. You don't trust them? These citizens. <laughs> she did purchase it twice on the first, two, um, $5 total. Um, but the only issue is, I don't know if this is what it was charged with, you can only stay there for two hours. You can't refeed the meter in that location. Are you satisfied that it's well, a credit card? That. Yes, Your Honor. I was going to go try using it to see if it worked, just in I case. Proud. I'm, pr I'm that. proud of it. She defied you, right? She Good. Absolutely not. Plus, I don't think she trusts you. I wouldn't either. I can't trust too many people. I'm sorry. <laughs> Been done wrong too much in my life. <laughs> I have to look out for me. <laughs> What's your recommendation on Your Honor, city moved to dismiss. I will explain to her the, about the rule, how you can only stay two hours. All right. <clears throat> the matter is dismissed. It's $85 for the red light. Thank you. Ms. Andrews is charged with disorderly conduct. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. I, my perusal of her, her uh, file indicates that she has had no prior okay. police contact. But, uh, Ms. Andrews, it appears as though you had a bad day. You, you haven't had any... Uh, they tried to attack me. I beg your pardon? My own friends tried to attack me, and I did the best I could to defend myself. All right. Let me tell you what the police say, okay? Police were called to a uh, scene because there was an argument going on between you and a friend of yours, another female, and... It appears as though uh, just escalated to something beyond being friends. Uh, so please try to get you two to uh, stop the arguing and disturbing the peace. And your friend obeyed and just left. But you, uh, you would not. And you, 
then began screaming at your friend, calling her a I'm ready to kill one of these I'll blow their heads off. I'll take their heads off once the police leave. So your behavior was so disruptive to the point where several neighbors woke up and stood outside of their houses, uh, unable to sleep because of your behavior. Traffic was backed up all because of this. And according to the police report, you refused to calm down. Police several times tried to defuse the situation, uh, but you were you would not do that. Now, police spoke with the other female who stated that she was a friend of yours and that you stopped by her residence to hang out and have a few drinks, but after a few drinks, according to the report, your friend stated that you became engaged in an argument over a common male interest in there. So this is the triangle, you know, it's always, always the triangle. So that's what the police report says. Your Honor, okay. the attack. Now, wait a minute. You have an attorney. You want to allow her to talk? She's lying. She attacked me. And when the cops showed up, she pretended like everything was okay. And I was still upset about it. And that's why I was still going on about it. Because when the cops show up, of course, you're going to pretend like nothing ever happened, right? And that's what she did. But she attacked me. And I did the best I could to defend myself. All right. Well... Let me ask you, I'm going to ask you one question. I want you to tell me the truth, okay? Absolutely. Okay. How many drinks did you have? Five. A lot. More than five. But I wouldn't call it disorderly conduct. I know. I know. Just. She attacked me when I was in my vehicle. I left my car driving because she attacked me. All right. Now here's what I want you. Here's what I want you to know. Get back over there. Get over there. Listen to me. We're not here to hurt you, okay? Your friend is still your friend. She didn't try, well, I'm just telling you from what I'm reading in the report. She was not insisting that you get arrested. As a matter of fact, she tried to talk the police out of arresting you, okay? So she wasn't trying to hurt you. But you would, according to the police, the police made the decision that your conduct was so disruptive that they arrested you. Okay. So. Don't have ill feelings toward your friend. She's still your friend. She attacked me. I understand that, but you've got to work that out on another deal. Thank okay. you. Okay, all right. Just, just listen. Now, you haven't had any problems with the law in the past. This is your first episode with the law. Now, I know when people have a few drinks, they say and do things that ordinarily they would not do when they're sober. Nobody should. Nobody should. I understand what he's saying, but nobody should ever put hands on anyone. No one should never do that. If I were you, I would calm down, okay? This only happened the last night. You know, think about it. Don't bring it to another level because <clears throat> funny things happen, you know, when you get carried away, okay? Yes. She was your friend. I think she's still your friend. I know you feel like your friendship has been betrayed. But work it out. So now <clears throat> you're represented by counsel, and she's excellent counsel. So, counsel, are you going to make a recommendation in this matter? Uh, Your Honor, the offer from the city was no low time served. My only issue with that is my client has no record currently, and time served would be technically a criminal conviction for her. And I was hoping we could resolve this. She has no trouble. She works. She's a CNA, a home health care worker. Mm -hmm. She had a bad night. I was hoping we resolve this without giving her any sort of a record in this court. Okay. Inspector Quinn? Your Honor, we can uh, set it down for a filing, and she can file for the motion for expungement. I'll do a month filing or whatever, but uh, I have no in all with the time served, she can still file for the expungement, Your Honor, because the matter will be dismissed. I've had an opportunity to read the report. I think it's an isolated incident in your life. I don't think you're going to be back. All right. So I'm going to take the advice, the recommendation, rather, of your counsel, Sue Carter, and of Inspector Quinn. Right. I'm going to plead you no -o. I'm going to release you on time served, which means there will be no further punishment <clears throat> for this. And you can speak to your counsel about getting that expunged. Good luck to you. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.